maybe in the long term and <laughs> here's a crazy thing maybe in the long term in business nobody wins hmm. yeah maybe in the short term everybody gets a little gain but in the long term you know well, unfortunately most businesses crash and fail at the end of the day for some reason even big ones so uh um there's no reason not to there's no reason not to help people out and uh um um <laughs> you know i don't know what kind of response people expect when they they like when they when they when they want things cheaper especially in a big company it's like well what do you what do you want do you, do you want me to give you a phone number of someone that you can call and you're going to call this person and the person's going to say yes for you everything is cheaper like no no cuz 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 yes everyone is special but no you're not special <laughs> <laughs> right, you're you're not different from from yeah you're a unique individual but you're not different from any other company that has to uh um to buy the product um so uh so it, it it's interesting where or or what people understand about negotiation there are places where you can negotiate and places where you can't negotiate um you walk into the supermarket to buy a product you cannot negotiate the price, right? Yes. Right. You know, the, the price is labeled. It's on the shelf. You either pay the price or you don't. Yeah. And people accept that on a daily basis. Um, whereas if, uh, if you are in a market scenario, if you're bartering, then maybe there's variability in the price. Maybe if you're exchanging goods, you can exchange different quantities of things. Um, if you if you have something to offer then you can trade if you mm -hmm. have something to offer then you can trade but if you don't have anything to offer that is interesting then you cannot trade <laughs> you cannot you cannot trade at all you've got nothing to trade with at all yeah it's like uh it, it if 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 person B has nothing to give person A, then there there, there can be no there, there there can be no negotiation on that. Um, it's uh, and it people and then people tend to live in. <laughs> I I had a friend who who described it like this. She said she said she said people live in their own happy bubbles, right? They live in their own little little happy sphere, their own little happy happy world and they don't often understand what is happening outside of that they think that their world is pretty much the same as everybody else's world and um it's a very non empathetic approach to uh uh to uh to the the resolution of of problems and if you look at business in terms of conflicts and um, some elements of business are because a lot of business is on the market and sometimes that's war between organizations and companies. Um, if you look at things in terms of that, then um, the only way that you can navigate a path through business without conflict is to approach every situation with gratitude and kindness. Because gratitude means that you are you are grateful, you are thankful for the situations and opportunities you have, and kindness means that you are you are that you are kind, that you are helpful to people, which is what every every product should be helping somebody in some way. Um, and um, if you're not approaching business with that as part of your the central core of what you're doing then then it it's just aggravation and conflict mm -hmm. because one side wants something and the other side wants something and they want the best for themselves and without empathy you can't really agree with anybody about anything and uh and it that, that's true from the individual personal relationship level right through to the how, how companies function that uh, um, there's going to be a lot of people who are 
there, there's going to be a lot of people trying to sell products not not looking at anyone in particular right you know, there's a, a lot of people going to try and sell products and a lot of people are not going to be that they're, they're, they're not going to be they're not going to have empathy for the complications of that situation yeah um the price doesn't depend on you right mm. you can help people in certain situations but you know everyone receives their set of fixed numbers and this is what they present and maybe there's a slight little bit of flexibility that can be applied over a period of time but you you can't really cheat the system you can't really cheat the numbers not in a real way you can pretend that something's there that's not there but but it, it has a negative effect in the long term so uh um yeah it having um having that level of, of of empathy with people and uh prices is is important and 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 to build trust as well yeah when you know a person is going to deliver what they say they're going to deliver and they've delivered it over a long period of time at that point in time you can begin to negotiate not not earlier um and in the sense in in another sense i i think a lot of things in life are done in reverse they're done backwards they're done the wrong way and uh here here's a here's a theory negotiation is something which happens at the end not the beginning right a lot of people think that negotiation will be you know you, you'll negotiate about something and come to a decision or conclusion but um real negotiation can only develop after there's trust and trust can only develop after there's time and so um it's easier to negotiate later in terms of years of time maybe not in terms of short contracts but uh than it is uh, than it is earlier um if you work for a company for many years then the longer you work for them in a sense the more leverage you have the more ability you have to make little changes in things and the more respect people have for a person who's prepared to hope hopefully for a person who's prepared to put everything into one thing you know and it's working for a company becomes your life for anybody working for any company you know it's eight hours a day plus minus sometimes more sometimes whole weekends doing things that are uncomfortable <laughs> yeah uh, trying trying to avoid stressful situations 